Welcome back to game day, everybody. The third-ranked Stanford women won their season opener against Rutgers 63-50. Neka Ogumake led the Cardinal with 20 points. Cal blew out St. Mary's 89-63 to improve to 2-0. <laughs> Former Stanford great Jennifer Azy on the bench for the USF women on Friday night against UC Davis. The Dons were beaten by the Aggies in Azy's official coaching debut. And now joining us alongside is Jennifer Azy. I'm going to give you a one and one because you did win a Thank game you. against Sonoma State prior to that. Welcome, one and one, Jennifer Azy. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it on a Sunday no night. Uh, two games under your belt. Uh, like I say, one victory and one loss. What is it to be like, uh, like to be on the sidelines instead of on the court? You know, as a point guard on some level, it's not that different. I mean, I think the, the, the greatest thing is you're responsible for the whole thing. And, and, but I, I love it. I, I love my team. I really enjoy working with them on a regular basis. And I told them that, you know, our work started last May. We're not going to, you know, win games in the moment during the game. We have to put in the work ahead of time in order to be successful. You're finding out what Tara had to go through. It's, this is not yeah. just the glamorous life that people see for two and a half hours on the sideline during a game. You're a CEO of an organization, essentially, right? Absolutely, and that's what I was told when I was mm -hmm. hired. You know, and that's <laughs> part of the reason that I was hired was to run an organization, not just coach a basketball team. And, you know, coaching may be 20% of, of what you do as a college coach, and the rest is everything else and it's uh it's more than more than full time but it's it's also very very rewarding this is a team that uh lost 27 games last year and i thought it was fascinating that you lost 23 games in four years at stanford <laughs> so you come from a culture that was a winner a national champion a powerhouse to a team that is an organization that is not how quickly can you change it you know, we'll see. I mean, I, I think we've made a lot of great strides already. And, you know, we're, we're trying not to measure our success this year just by wins on the court. You know, we've really worked very, very hard at changing the culture. And I think that's the first thing that you have to do coming into a program that has struggled as much as USF. And, you know, I, I, I feel like with our, our current players and the players that we have coming in for next year, they're of the same mindset. You know, they, they're tired of losing. They want to win and, and they want to be better. Uh, one of the hardest things you have to do is recruit. And we know in the Bay Area, there's St. Mary's, there's Santa Clara, there's Stanford, there's Cal, there's USF. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And you're kind of competing against Tara Vandeveer in a sense now. But I want you to hear this one quote. You probably already heard, quote, this is Tara speaking. Who would want to be recruited by Jennifer Azy? Which I think is the ultimate compliment. But how are you going to walk into somebody's house and say, I want you to play for me? instead of the other schools in the Bay Area? Well, first of all, I can't imagine a better place than San Francisco. I mean, just, just by virtue of the location, USF is a great education, it's a great academic school, and we're building a great program. And, you know, I, I want the recruits that want to be part of something building. I think that's been our greatest challenge. You know, players, some players want to go to a program that's already established, but the ones that want to come here and help us build, that's who we're after. Do people still know who you are? You know, it, dep it really depends, and, and for, the, you know, for the young women, certainly, they, they may have seen me play professionally, mm -hmm. um, but certainly not in college. You know, some of them weren't even born yet, um, but it's their parents. If their parents followed basketball, you're then... You're not that old. Then they, Jennifer, <laughs> you're not that old. <laughs> you know, I, you know I, I'm realistic, yeah. so... Um, Tara and all the other coaches you played for, you take a little bit of each, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of coach do you think you are? Or will That's be. Tough. You know, I would say, you know, you'd have to probably ask my, my players right now, but I, I've been very, very fortunate. I've had great coaches since the time I was a little mm -hmm. kid. My junior high coach is still there. My high school coach just left. Tara's still at Stanford. All fantastic coaches. And I think one advantage for me, having played for so many, so many great coaches and having had a 13 year professional career, I have been able to take a little bit from each one of them, but certainly. The one that impacted me the most is Tara. Okay. You got San Jose State tomorrow night mm -hmm. at the Hilltop. It's one of my favorite gyms because uh, it's kind of a throwback, a small, uh, intimate uh, gathering. But you have something going on, a Be a Part of It campaign. It's Fitness Day tomorrow night. In addition, 200 fans will, uh, if you bring canned food donation to War Memorial, will receive a Building Champions uh, bracelet. Yes. That's the theme. It's exciting. Let's yes. build a champion. It's building, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. And you know, the the be a part of it campaign is is great. You know, for, especially for on the women's side, to just get fans coming in the gym, and that's something that's been very very important for me as a 
as a coach at USF is to really engage the community. There's there's really no other um, women's sport there in the city, and, and we want people to come see us play. Yeah, well, I love I love the building, and I I love your history, and of course, uh, Tara Vanderveer. But December 22nd, I know you got to look one game at a time. <laughs> That's what coaches say. You got to do that, but you you got to be thinking, wow, well, we're going to play against Tara on December 22nd here. We are playing against Stanford, wow. and 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 it's going to be. Um, my, my team is really excited about it, and we're very excited about it as well. You know, I just don't want, which is going to be hard to fight, the game to be about Tara and myself and Katie Stedding, who's the associate head coach at USF, because we both, you know, were national champions at Stanford. We hope that it will just bring a lot of uh, excitement and enthusiasm for women's basketball, well, especially USF. Yeah, it'll bring a full house for sure. I hope so. Okay. All right. Jennifer Acey, thanks, thanks for coming in. Right. We'll follow your uh, progress at the Hilltop tomorrow night against San Jose State. And what's that date again? December 22nd. Uh, we'll be back with more on Game Day. Thank you.